when we talk about heat, what comes to mind? You might think about fire. Or you might even think about temperature. Did you know that temperature and heat are not the same? Temperature and heat are often mistaken to be the same. When heat increases, we notice that the temperature of an object increases, and this causes us to be confused. Usually, we define temperature as the hotness or coldness of an object. At the molecular level, temperature is the average kinetic energy of the particles in a system. Average is used since each particle does not have the same kinetic energy with the other particles. Through the sense of touch, we can determine whether an object is hot or cold. For example, when we touch a cup of coffee, we can feel that it is hot. On the other hand, when we touch an ice cube, we can feel that it is cold. However, this method is not accurate. A tool used in measuring temperature is a thermometer. The most common type of thermometer is the mercury in a glass tube, but we also have the digital thermometer. The International System Unit of Measurement for Temperature is Kelvin, but there are other scales that can be used such as degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. On the other hand, heat is a form of energy that is transferred from one body to another due to the difference in temperature. It is also a measure of the total kinetic and potential energy in a system. Heat is transferred from a body with higher temperature to a body with lower temperature. For example, when a person touches a cup of hot coffee, heat is transferred from the cup towards the person's hand. On the other hand, when a person touches an ice cube, heat will be transferred from the person's hand towards the ice cube. A calorimeter is used in measuring the heat transferred from one body to another. The International System Unit of Measurement for Heat is Joule. Sounds familiar, right? Because it is the same unit we used for work and energy. However, calorie is more commonly used because it relates heat to the change in temperature. A calorie is equal to 4.186 joules, which is the amount of heat needed to change the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree Celsius. Alright, let's perform this activity. Prepare three containers separately with cold water, tap water, and hot water, and one tablespoonful of powder drink for each of the three containers. If you have someone who can help you, ask for assistance so you can drop one tablespoonful of powder drink into the three containers simultaneously. It would be best if you drop them at the same time so you can see the difference in how the powdered drink travels in the hot, tap, and cold water in the containers. Carefully observe and compare the behavior of the powdered drink in the three containers. Focus your observations on the motion or speed of the spreading powdered drink particles in three containers of water with different temperatures. What have you observed as you drop the tablespoon of powdered drink into the three containers simultaneously? You may have noticed that the powdered drink scattered and dissolved fastest in hot water, then in tap water, and lastly in cold water. Therefore, we can say that the higher the temperature, the faster the powdered drink particles scattered. They have a direct relationship towards each other. Now, when we say heat, it is the transfer of energy from high temperature to low temperature. Thermal energy measures the movement of particles as you have performed in the activity. The amount of heat transferred relies on the amount of thermal energy. Thus, heat is a measurement of thermal energy being transferred. Heat transfer can be determined when there is a change in temperature. The higher the change in temperature, the greater the amount of heat is transferred. The smaller the absolute value of the change of temperature, the smaller the amount of heat is transferred. 
This means that heat is directly proportional to temperature. Heat may be absorbed or given off. When heat is absorbed, there is a positive change in temperature. This means that the final temperature is higher than the initial temperature. When heat is given off, there is a negative change in temperature, which means that the final temperature is lower than that of the initial temperature. We have learned previously that objects possess kinetic energy. Even the small things that you cannot see also move and have kinetic energy. The activity we had earlier showed that as the powder drinks scattered in the water, the particles of water are moving too. We have also observed that the powder drinks scattered fastest in hot water and slowest in cold water. Thus, we can say that if heat is absorbed by an object, the particles of the object gain kinetic energy and they move faster. Since temperature is directly related to kinetic energy, any gain in kinetic energy would cause the temperature to increase. Conversely, if heat is transferred or removed from an object, it loses kinetic energy, its particles move slower, and the body's temperature decreases. Thermal energy measures the movement of particles as you have performed in the activity. It is the total kinetic energy of moving particles of matter. It is dependent on the mass of the object and temperature. The greater the mass that accounts for the number of molecules and temperature of an object, the greater its thermal energy. Thermal energy varies since matter has varying mass with changing temperature. Which do you think has greater thermal energy between a cup of hot coffee and a large container of water at room temperature? In this case, a large container of water has greater thermal energy since the mass of the water in a large container is greater compared to the coffee in a cup. This means that there are many more particles of water than coffee. All these moving particles give the water in the large container greater total kinetic energy even though their average kinetic energy is less. Therefore, the water in the large container has greater thermal energy than the coffee in a cup. We already know that temperature is measured with the use of a thermometer. The mercury column inside this thermometer either rises or drops when placed in contact with any object. Now, why does the liquid inside the tube of thermometer go up or down? This happens because the mercury inside the tube expands or contracts in response to a change in temperature. When the thermometer bulb is placed in hot water, the liquid inside the tube expands. As it does, it takes more space and so it goes up the tube. When the bulb is placed in cold water, the liquid inside the tube contracts, and so it goes down the tube. In physics, this is called thermal expansion, which is another effect of heat transfer. But thermal expansion does not apply only to the liquid inside the thermometer. In fact, it applies to almost everything around us, be it a solid, a liquid, or a gas. Now, Talking about solid, liquid, and gas, these are called phases of matter. There is another change that may occur when heat is added to or taken out from an object. You may have noticed that an ice may melt into liquid water and water may evaporate when exposed to heat. These are called phase change. Alright, let's wrap things up. We learned that Temperature is not an energy, while heat is. Heat is the measurement of thermal energy in a certain material or object. It is also the transfer of thermal energy from high temperature to low temperature. On the other hand, temperature is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles. The higher the temperature, the faster the movement of the particles and the higher the kinetic energy. The lower the temperature, the slower the movement of the particles, and the lower the kinetic energy. 
Temperature can be measured with the use of thermometers. Temperature is the measure of how hot or cold the material is, while heat is a form of energy. The units of temperature are Kelvin, Celsius, and Fahrenheit, while heat is measured in joules. That's all for now. Stay tuned for the next part of this series about sound. See you on our next video, and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.